checking out the, their disability access pass. When we got here, there was a bit of a queue to get in, and there was no, didn't seem to be anybody really around to avoid that, so we had to queue for a while to get our passes. We them online, um, and then we got given a special wristband. Show them your wristband. Now. He's not the same. I think his barcode is different. No, 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 you've got an A and I've got an E. Oh yeah, I have an A and he has an E. And the E means that he can go on anything um, through the ride exit. However, I have my daughter and her friend with me as well. And they did tell me at the entrance you can only take one person on a ride. Which means that we ended up splitting up, which isn't ideal. But we'll see how it goes throughout the day and whether, whether that's actually the case or not. Right now we're waiting for my daughter's queue for the big one because the son didn't want to go on it so um, we'll check back in when, when we've worked out whether this ride pass is going to work. on it once but I hated it. I hated the fact it didn't have um, harnesses and to be honest for me this bit's the worst bit. They're going up really 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 slowly. Really 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 high. Yeah the rest of the ride was fine but I hated this bit that much. I'm never going on it again. It's how high is it? 235 feet which is taller than the Angel of the North. There they've gone Whee! Oh there they are over there. That was quick. So it's taller than Nelson's Column, a space shuffle, the Angel of the North and the Statue of Liberty and that's ridiculous. So I'm not sure how this works, we're trying to get on this using the access pass. I think you have to go down the exit which I presume is this. I don't see how this works. So we're going past all the people coming the other way and we're going to see if we can get four of us on which may or may not work. So this is testing out the access pass and how actually helpful it is or not. Okay, so they let us on. The nice man explained that you're only allowed one person per wristband um, to go with the person who's got the wristband, which means that if you have like three kids, which I've got with me today, you can't actually use it um, unless you leave two of your kids behind, which it just doesn't make any sense. We take it in turns to go on the rides or I don't know. I don't know how it's supposed to work. But I'm actually um, suffering having been on that. It's insane. Um, it is. It made me so dizzy. I can't, even, I can't even walk. I'm like, oh my goodness. And um, if you've got piercings, it really hurts your ears as well because it whacks your head into the side. But yeah, it's kind of fun. Um, I don't think I'll go on it again though. Which is good because that man won't let us on again. So first, let's see what happens on our ride to see if we can get on any more. And say cheese. That was your picture. She needs to wear them somewhere well. Oh, I hurt my head, Mum. If you, oh, really? I hit my head on the back. 
if you have a disability wristband, um, you are only allowed one carer on, so one other person on the ride with the person who's got the wristband. Oh, we're going in here. It looks terrible. Why do you want to hurt? Okay, this is a weird tool. You'll just hit the side of the so yeah, I mean, I guess if you have more people in your party and you want to stay together, or if you even have, you have smaller children, it'd be really complicated. Um, and what a weird picture. You might actually be better buying the fast passes, even though that's really expensive. So yeah, black population beats didn't used to be like that. It's like it now, and it just depends when. on this one as well, but I think it's because it's four in a carriage. Yeah, probably. They said that you're only allowed one person because it holds on to the team, but... It, it, it seems to depend up. which ride you get on as to whether you get on with everybody or one person. I've never actually been on this. I'm not so sure, it's very exciting. Welcome to Wonderland! Oh, I just don't want it then. And it looks like it was hideous. Let's go 
have been giving us. I would have loved it a few years ago, but I get really dizzy on rides. Right, I was gonna say a little bit about lunch because we actually ate food in the theme park and we don't normally do that. Um, but it was all a bit weird. You you could buy hot dogs from one till and you had to buy fries from another till and you had to buy burgers from a different till. So if you wanted lots of different things, you had to queue up in lots of different queues. So like, like what you wanted, fries and, and a hot dog. So we had to get the, the hot dog and then we had to take the hot dog to the queue for the fries and then we had to buy the fries. But the fries came in a bucket and I'll put a picture in because that was kind of cool. Um, but then that's a bit wasteful if you don't want the bucket because it's a plastic bucket and you're throwing it away, I guess. Yeah, but you can't get normal fries. You can't get normal fries that aren't in the bucket. You could just get a bucket of fries with a spade. But I tried eating the fries with a spade and that never worked. <laughs> oh, if it's um, a a, 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 like a pitchfork. A pitchfork would work, but you don't normally have a bucket and pitchfork. I think it's the whole point. You pick a little plastic pitchfork for the beach and a little plastic spade. Pitchfork? You mean rake? Take pink. Yeah. No, you... pitchfork makes it. Yes, I know, but you don't, take, you don't take a bucket and a pitchfork to the beach. Okay, rake. Yeah, if you took a rake and a bucket and a spade, then you could use the spade as a knife and the rake as a fork. <laughs> no, the spoon. I, 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 the spade is oh, a spoon. Oh, the spade is a spoon. The rake is a fork. And the bucket is a... <laughs> There's actually someone walking past right now with one that I can't show you because I'd be filming them, which would be filming someone else's kid, which isn't the best idea. Um, so yeah, and then there were seagulls, and the seagulls kept coming and eating our food. They do have lockers. They do have lockers. If you bring a bag and you want to leave stuff, you can leave it on lockers. So the seagulls would end up eating our food. Um, no, the seagulls did end up eating our food. <laughs> Oh, that was quite funny. Yeah, I should have filmed it really, but I was too busy using the chips with the spade out of a bucket. What's been your favourite ride? Have not too close. You've not, you went on the Alice in Wonderland ride for Born to Cow, that big blue roller coaster. That's no, no, it, spring ride. Okay, so what's your favourite out of those? The blue one. The blue one. Oh no, we went on Wallace and Gromit. I like the Wallace and Gromit ride. That was really fun. Up the effort. It was really funny because it went it went dark in between and then um, after it went dark it went into the different bits like clips from different it's films. Um, no, not, not the episodes of F Wars and Grow It. And as we were going through the dark, it was playing like little bits of music to get into the next bit. And he was just like, oh, this is gonna be the one with the sheep. Oh, this is gonna be the one with this. Oh, this is the one with the wear rabbit. And he was right on all of them. It was really weird, wasn't it? I don't know how you did that. You must have seen it like a lot of times to know exactly what was going to happen. Have you been on the ride before? No. It was really, it was really good. I, I like the world of the ride. It wasn't fast, it wasn't scary, it didn't make me sick, it didn't spin. And um, yeah, it was good. There was a bit of fast parts, but not that fast. Yeah, there was, but they weren't. They weren't like super fast. They were just like pretty fast. And then, yeah, if you like one of the it, you'll like it, I guess. There were bits what? There were. That is a good point. It did have bits where it, it blew wind at you. So, yeah, if you don't like that, I guess. Anyway, we're just waiting for for the girls to get off of. Oh, what, what's it called? Ice blast. Is that what it says? Yeah. Ice blast. Sorry, I'm trying to read the sign. Um, so yeah, we're waiting for them to get off there, which is like a big drop down tower. And after going on that blue roller coaster, I'm feeling a little bit dizzy still. So I'm not going on that. I think my chips that came out of my bucket. Like that? that is called Valhalla. That is a water ride, like a walk through. The only issue is it's pretty cold today, and I'm not so sure. I'll show you it. Ice blast or whatever. It's one of those where you go up. But obviously, there's no one on it right now. There's a roof here, so you can't really see it. And that big rock building over there, that's Valhalla. It is fun, but you get very wet. Um, I don't really want to, it's cold. The good thing about Blackpool Pleasure Beach though is that you get a um, you get a pass to come back tomorrow, or we got a pass to come back tomorrow because apparently it's raining for more than three hours. Oh, there it is, there it went. It's raining for three to eight. But it's not raining, like we're, we're not in the rain. So it's going to rain, isn't it? It's 
there's a little bit spitting, but so yeah, we can come back for free tomorrow or we can come for half price any Sunday from now. Then not on that one. Um so yeah. I just said all that without picking the cord. Right, it's been a pretty good day, but um if you were using the the disability pass um properly and you have more than like one person with you then you'd really struggle because your whole family would just have to spend the day separately. Some people would have to queue and other people would have to go on rides and then you'd be waiting for people and you know obviously get to one So one yeah, it does it just completely depends on the ride and the person. It seems to be like the rides where they're like Alice in Wonderland where there was four people in a carriage, they let us on, no problem. The haunted house where there's two people in a carriage, he didn't want us to go on it. Um he just wanted two of us to go on. So it's a bit difficult because because then you can't go back on it for an hour because you have your wristband scan. So you can't even like go on it one at a time. You have to wait. Yeah, you have to wait three hours. You have to wait, yeah, to get all four people on something. You'd have to go on it over the course of four hours, which yeah. three hours, which would be pretty daft to be honest. So it doesn't actually work. It either makes you wait or it makes you wait in the queue, and it, it splits your family up, which that's not ideal. upside down. That's cool.
Africans English, isn't it? <laughs>